Today is the 24th of February, Friday, 2012. And in today's video, what we would like to do is show you how we would normally process booking a profitable trade in the foreign exchange market. What we have here is the daily dollar index with both a moving average exponential which is on the green and a trend line resistance and support by using equidistant channel however this is a candlestick formation that we are using and would be showing you a graph on the lines but however relative to our previous market view report February 20th and considering our positions in February 2 calling a US dollar continuation in its weakness towards the 7805 level with extensions around the 77.50 to 95 levels currently working at 78.53 with a low at 78.45 which you could be found on the left hand side of the screen and a high of 78.77 the stochastics here combined with the relative strength index is reaching its oversold area although in this particular daily chart compared to the weekly let's see if we can get and focus on this area alone would show that there is still enough room for the price to move lower lower I'm sorry since it's still open and considering a possibility of a left head and a right shoulder that would signify a head and shoulders formation on a technical basis although the other side of the coin would be a possible low with some consolidation around these levels simply because it could be a third higher bottom considering that the low here established in October 23rd 2011 at 74.72 and here at 72.69 low established way back in May 1st 2011 now with that said the weekly prices based on the moving average is now below 79.23 signaling a bear movement is still possible looking at it on a monthly basis there are it's still above the 77.85 although we are and did anticipating that it would be touched however there would be some sort of support as we have mentioned that this is a probable higher bottom from the previous although again a lower top from this particular configuration much lower than the previous high established in February 28 in 2009 of 89.862 making this more probably a lower price for this week and for the end of the month and transforming it into a line chart it still has some ways to go before the actual crossover would be made and that is also significant here as far as the monthly stochastics 
combined with the relative strength index. This is one consideration as far as the US dollar index is concerned. Going back to a weekly, although it has signified its negative tone, on the daily, we would be looking at 77.95 to 78.05 level. Otherwise, some fresh incentives for the US dollar to move higher would simply come out, but we don't anticipate one for now. And what we have here is the US dollar on a daily, the dollar yen on the daily, as well as the cross trades on the euro yen, which we can actually compare with the individual majors moving. The US dollar currently right now it's one 0.3404 level and still strong with enough momentum still rising with the Williams percentage rate at the higher level although the relative strength index is still at 66.75 with the price is way above its moving average of 1.32 level and at this junction we would like to transform it into a weekly and touching the previous opening of this particular bar at 1.3415 level with a high of 1.3485 However, the magic number would be at 1.3520.25 level, which would be a close extension of 1.36, which is actually what it is targeting. However, the prices are well above the previous resistance, which is now a support with a channel support at 1.2945 round figure 50 working at 13406 with a high of 13425 it still has more room to move higher momentum is good compared with a fundamentally oriented dollar yen that proved to be successful for the bank of japan triggering to move their economy and currently exporters right now are much happier from the previous price of 76 level where the particular point transposing it into a weekly basis when it penetrated the previous resistance line of 78.12 which triggered the Bank of Japan to move and this particular consolidation looking it on a weekly basis with a morning cloud formation which is bullish although this is more fundamental rather than technical and has touched its initial resistance level although fundamentally oriented it has more room but of course there's no such thing as a straight line up or a straight line down. There will always be a play in between on a daily or on a weekly basis. Now comparing that with the cross rate Euro Yen on a daily basis, we did elaborate before. If you notice here, we have previously indicated just to make it fair Let's see if we can, what we can do is create a triangle formation, which is where we can actually put it here and adjust it so it would be more appropriate. There you go. Coming from a low of 
97.02 and this particular triangle having before the Bank of Japan move then the prices spiked made the consolidation and continued to move higher currently working at 108.12 with a high at 14 a low of 106.85 on a daily basis but in particular let's translate this into a weekly where this particular triangle is within that resistance and when it broke the continuation is a lot faster since it's funda fundamentally oriented and this particular configuration here is more bullish and actually broken the trading range of 101.98 and 97.19 now with that said again we would like to show you and this particular configuration serves as the head compared to the left and right shoulders with a neckline transposing it into a daily breaking that particular neckline this pattern of la red lines here the length of the consolidation would be the length of the prices to move higher and by doing so indeed work to a high of 108.12 however considering the process of booking a trade towards the end of the month in particular today is the 24th which is a Friday and end of the month is on a Wednesday where overlapping positions in position adjustments by institutionals as well as futures trading the financial futures which we do likewise we would be repositioning booking the trade and reposition any price on its corrective however we could also leave some and did test a smaller number of units just to see how the spread would be working out although in this particular daily chart compared to the weekly extensions could be as high as this Fibonacci fan resistance at the 38.2 and translate this into let's see we can get a good price here at 111.02 slightly lower than the top of this particular bar 111.54 so extensions could be on that level which is just about now at 108 on a on a weekly basis but we since we still have a few days to go before the end of the month's trading but there will be some pullbacks along the way since position adjustments are made so we will be repositioning as well and booking the prices here let's see we initiated that position on february the second with the long euro yen at 100 the size here is slightly below 1 simply because we just marked 0 0.03 to test the market as far as the spread is concerned and with the current price of 108.11 and since the swap is negative since this is more of a speculative trade rather than a carry since the interest rates differentials now are not as well uh, compared to a few years back that's more speculative so rather taking a position on the long 
euro compared or versus the yen would be appropriate and normally what we do is we normally since we don't normally put a market execution or rather we do a market execution rather than placing a trail order since we are determined to take out our position, so we'd rather go and liquidate the position as of now. And we booked it at 108.10, where the price right now is 108, more or less the same. So practically, it is a good trade. So again, thank you very much, and hopefully that this video would somehow be able to be used as a guide. There are no such things as, as guarantees of future results because the market moves fundamentally and technically and anything can happen. So only the best for your trades. Have a good weekend.